It's Extreme Physics. And tonight, our contestants are feeling the power in Paris. They are Polly from Portaferry, Freitas from Rostreva, and Stephen from Strangford. And here's your host, Isaac Neutron. Welcome, welcome. We have a towering show for you this evening. It's all about power. And here's our very own pocket rocket, Dr. Rula. Thanks, Isaac. Today, we will be measuring personal power by measuring the time taken to climb a staircase. So it's three steps to heaven and time for Dr. Rula to plug into her own personal power supply. <laughs> Thank you, Isaac. For this experiment, we will require a person, a staircase, bathroom scales, a half meter rule, and a stopwatch. First, we find and record the mass of the person in kilograms using the scales. We then convert it to weight. Weight equals mass in kilograms times 10 newtons per kilogram. Record the person's weight in newtons. We then measure the height of one step using a half meter rule. We repeat this twice and find the average height of one step. Count the number of steps and record. We can calculate the total vertical height risen by multiplying the average height of a single step by the total number of steps. Record the total height in meters. Next, we can calculate the work done by multiplying the force by the total height risen. The force is just the weight of the person. Record the work done in joules. Then we find the time taken to run up the stairs by using a stopwatch. The person should not run too fast and be careful not to trip. After suitable rest periods, repeat the experiment and calculate the average time. We are then able to calculate average personal power by dividing the work done by the average time taken. My goodness, if watching you is work, give me some overtime. But now it's time to play Extreme Physics! <laughs> Welcome to an Extreme Physics First. We've stationed Harry, one of our crew, at the bottom of the Eiffel Tower in Paris. As soon as we say go, he'll start climbing and will keep going till he's climbed a vertical height of 100 meters. Harry's weight is 1,200 newtons, so he's about to complete 120,000 joules of work. His average personal power is only 20 watts. So how long will it take Harry to climb up the 100 meters? Find the answer and win an extreme physics headband and water bottle. Harry, on your marks. So, Rula, will they rise to the challenge? Well, we know that power equals work done divided by time, so they should. Three, two, one, go! Renus from Rostreva, what's your answer? Is it 6,000 seconds? Ruler, is he right? We divide Harris' work done by his average power and get 6,000 seconds, which equals 1 hour and 40 minutes. So yes, he is correct. Well, have fun, Harry. We'll see you next week, <laughs> maybe. So, it's good night from everyone here at Extreme Physics. It's been a lot of fun. And you know what I say? If it ain't fun... It is physics!